Okay. Good. That's that's it's not really packed. Okay, welcome. Um, what we are, what we are uh, so the original plan for the session was to uh, to share some ideas. Um, um, what what I found speaking with a lot of developers is that that we are all facing the same problems, and uh, sometimes we uh, came to solutions. Um, and um, at the Dutch Juma Day uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, I spoke with Niklas and, and, and we talked about, about um, how we handled something in, in, in development and we found out that we both came to the same solution um, and did almost the same things um, uh, but on, on, on our own so and, and sharing ideas and, and, and um, you know, other people doing things uh, yeah, it makes sense, uh, and uh, we can save some time um, and use it for whatever else, drinking beer, having fun with family, or whatever. So, um, I think everybody knows me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from the first talk and... Okay, what was your name? Oh, I'm Robert. What's your name? Uh, Ping Pong Champion. Um, <laughs> Nah. Yeah, come on, I think it was. <laughs> what two and two. Uh, two and two next time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Maybe, maybe this evening again. Okay. We yeah. can meet outside like men. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In two hours at the parking area. Yes, and uh, we. We are using different tools for, for Joomla development, and Joomla development itself is, is a bit different or a bit special uh, than other uh, web development. If you use two, uh, frameworks like Zend or, or whatever, uh, you have a, set, uh, a framework which, which, is, uh, which you build upon in a different way. Uh, Joomla, the Joomla project uh, structure is a bit different. Uh, so if you're using an IDE, uh, an integrated development environment, uh, you have to do some things different than with, with other frameworks uh, to have all the things like code completion, correct debugging, and so on. And these are the things we want to discuss, more discuss, or more, more uh, find out together uh, than just showing, uh, because everybody has maybe his own way or questions or an idea how to do it better. It's not that, that we found the best ways to do it. Uh, we found our ways, as Robert says, uh, on our own. Uh, but um, maybe we can we can learn from each other uh, how to do things better. Robert is more the editor type of guy. <laughs> like he, he's using Sublime Text, and I'm using uh, PHP Storm. And uh, I've tried nearly every other IDE on the market, uh, commercial or not. Uh, and I finally um, yeah, found PHP Storm, and I, for me personally, it's 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 uh, my favorite. Uh, but there are others. There's NetBeans and Free uh, Alternative. Eclipse is very old and well known, and then it's uh, Zen Studio, which which is very professional too, but also quite expensive. And so uh, there are different tools, different ways to to do Joomla development. And yeah, what maybe best best practice or what tools we use like for debugging, for packing uh, uh, extension packages and so on. And uh, yeah, that's what we want to show, discuss, learn, and see what others are doing. And yeah, this is just should we go through it? Yeah, maybe one one question okay. before. Yeah, uh, who in this room? Yeah. Uh, okay. Who will be? Okay. Who will not? <laughs> Who's the designer and what's to learn the other side? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you talking to these guys about? <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. So, yeah, maybe let us, let us start. There are a couple of slides, and you can 
always interrupt us and, and uh, ask questions or make better suggestions as we have. So um, this um, is uh, how do they name slide uh, <laughs> uh, presentation. Small printed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. But, um, and that's um, I think that, that's that's really the challenge we, we have and we are facing when we when we talk about development and, and, and you know, also in June like we have this development part, this packing to make a product, what, what you can install, and you have this testing part, and, and um, um, so these are this, this three sides of, of, the, um, of the problem, more or less, and um, we will go now to, uh, very quick, to five, to five areas, and um, okay, go on. It's version control, and we are going. The next one is, is code quality and, and consistency, and uh, we go to integrate development environments. And next one, yeah, yeah. some little tools and um, build tools. So that's you know you understand why it's a hundred eighty slots. No, only 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 one one word on it. So um, talking about version control, who's using version? Controlling for for components here in, <laughs> in, in who not? What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you are sleeping. No. Okay. Oh. Uh, um, who is using version control here? A bit of not to explore. Okay. Good. Okay. We, we go go through. Okay. So uh, that's so I put some rules on it so never never to develop and without version control. So we have, um, so I put only four here, and we have um, the, the um, two different types of them. One is centralized and distributed, and we have centralized is the, oh, that's right. Okay, ah, not so oh. fast. <laughs> okay, good. That's about centralized uh, version control system, so, yeah. um, to make the mail, I will not read. Almost you can read. Uh, um, I think it's it's not really so much used at the moment. Um, at least not in open source projects. We can do the next one. Okay. Just just for for, for the uh, um, uh, standalone uh, developer who, is, who who works on his own. Yeah. I I have used or. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm now using Git, and I'm very happy with it, but uh, for a very long time, I didn't use uh, version control systems. I have just had this uh, backup script that every 10 minutes zipped all the changes in my development uh, directory tree and put it on, on an external drive. And I was happy with that, because I could go all, all the way back every 10 minutes, uh, the, the, the version was, was saved. It's not a real version control system, but it's, it was my versioning system. And it worked for years, and it, and and uh, had no problems with it. So uh, that's a very very simple version control system. But Git is much better. <laughs> yeah. Well, you come to the two solutions, so it's yes. I, I don't think he's the he's the only one. Um, <laughs> a, lo a lot of times, I just use it just just the no number at the end of the file, it just saves yeah. sa saved it, and then just uh, work on with the old one. Yeah. What you can do now is you can you can, have, you can buy a Mac and you put your time machine on, on, on ten minutes, so it's all automatic. You force me to. Okay, then we have this distributed one. Then I think you have to read all this stuff, so you can pass the read and I can talk. Um, at least today. Um, so and, and what we what we are using in Jola. If you're not used to uh, Git, or if you have tried Git, so you can use 50 minutes of your time and learn you on, uh, on try Git. So there are a couple of tools <laughs> on, for, for Git when you are uh, um, not, not like the command line. Power, the unusual power. 
the source tree. Um, I installed it, and I think I, I imported one one uh, repository to make the screenshot. So I uh, haven't not really used it, but it's 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 free, um, and it's, an, it's another tool for for. Windows on the Mac. Um, yeah, yeah, there's, there's. Has other. anybody seen it? <laughs> we have seen it. Yes, Windows, Windows, Windows is. Um, yeah. 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 I think this source, source is also on Windows. Since two years. What's this on the Mac here? So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. So uh, what, I, what I'm doing is I, I'm, I'm starting. Start, I have a Windows box in my office, um, and I started it I think, um, last week to make the badges. So because there is Excel on it and, and Word, and that's the only thing I use it for. So. Um, so that's what we what we do when we when we write code. And oh, God, it's not a good idea to look. So that's also about comment. For the people that are coming later, we we go through the slides, but it's not really what we will do is is more have a discussion about about um, um, uh, developing. So maybe we can show now the intuitive tool. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm I'm also using PHP Storm, um, but I'm using it only for for the uh, for debugging, um, <laughs> because um, Sublime Text uh, you can also debug with Sublime Text, but but the view on on, on variables is not really good. So um, and Perfect. Uh, yes, the problem is it's a quite big uh, project now, and uh, it was open last month. And it's, uh, um, as you might know, uh, IDEs are normally not made for this screen resolution. Uh, it's uh, very, very small on this uh, on this screen. Um, And it looks very pretty. So, um, uh, an IDE uh, is is packed no, normally packed with a lot of a lot of features, and that's the same with PHP Storm and Eclipse and and NetBeans and so on. Uh, the, the problem with an IDE normally is that, that, that you have to yeah, get familiar with it. You have to learn it, definitely. And uh, as I said, I've tried a lot of IDEs. Um, it's, it's also a, a personal thing. I, I know people who, who uh, would never change from Eclipse or who, who swear that, that NetBeans is the best. It's, it's okay, but uh, for me, this, this thing works as I want to work. Uh, with, with an IDE, uh, a lot, a lot, a lot of features, a lot of, a lot of customization, a lot of uh, uh, keyboard shortcuts. You can define them yourself, and so on. It, it, it's, it's, it's very fast, and uh, yeah, a lot of, a lot of things that that uh, are offered by the, by the IDE. And this is the, the project tree. This is, as you see, the, the editor area. Uh, also with this, with this uh, live. Um, uh, the uh, checking of, of errors and, and warnings and so on, and that's that's a really really great thing. I, I know a lot of people who are uh, starting with PHP Storm, and they told me uh, they 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 uh, they are always checking the box at the top there, which always should be green. That means there are no parsing errors and, and no warnings and no deprecated stuff and whatever. Uh, so this when 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 you when you 
uh, get familiar with this and, and you always check this, your code quality always gets better because if you have code sniffer installed which, uh, which checks your, your coding style, then uh, this, this warning will, will also show you that, that you are not using the Juma coding style, for example. All these things can be, can be used or integrated in the code set. Hey, sir. Oh, uh, uh, what do you need? Oh, well, no, no, it wasn't. Was, was, oh, of course, it was a hardware problem. Okay. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was a user problem. <laughs> yes, and uh, uh, as you can see, uh, there are a lot of buttons, a lot of tabs, a lot of a lot of things uh, you you can uh, you can activate and use, and uh, also in the editor, a lot of different colors, underlinings, uh, and so on, uh, which is, yeah, every, everything has, has a meaning there. And uh, you can, you can uh, if, if you are familiar with that, it, it helps you a lot. And uh, yes, also, also, as we just saw Git uh, as a version control system, uh, this project is also in Git. Uh, it's also integrated in, in this, I, or in, in an IDE. So you don't have to care for, for, for this. You just make the changes. You have also the possibility to, to create change lists. You're working on a special task. You create a change list for it. So you know, uh, I work on bug X, uh, X, Y, Z and uh, have made these changes to fix this bug. Then you have it on one change list and you can uh, commit it uh, to, to Git. And you have all the settings uh, for, this, for this bug and you uh, can Follow these changes very easy in in uh, PHP Storm, and <coughs> there are also uh, other small things. Uh, what uh, you also have in a in a in a version control system, uh, but you have it also. Huh? Uh, here is a is a quick history of of the of the file changes. Where you where you see all the, all the changes you made uh, to this file also uh, with, with time and and changes when you when you go to this uh, you you can see that there, there, there are changes for example you see what 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 has changed you can revert changes all this stuff is is built in into an IDE. Is this is from from Git or or is this no, it's, 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 history, not it's, history. it's 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 a lot oh cool it's mm -hmm. local. Uh, yeah, it's very fast, and, and uh, uh, this also works. Uh, no, it, it, it worked on, on, on the directory tree, and the new version six point, I don't know which one it is six six point oh two. Uh, uh, it somehow didn't work, but the, the, you you can also see the changes you made on the uh, on the directory tree, uh, which was really great. But I think they will fix it. And <coughs> yes, just. Uh, for a short jump into the IDE, uh, yes, as I said, it's 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 a very steep learning curve uh, to get familiar with it with an with an IDE. Uh, but for me, it's 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 worth the price. It's 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 really it's really uh, really helpful. If you are coding for Joomla for open source project, Joomla has a license for PHP Storm. Yep. But I also, it's it's not that expensive. I I prefer buying and supporting the, the, the company. Yeah, but, but but you need some time to, to, to get familiar with this, and, and maybe the thirty days are not enough. Yeah, so not when you when you need it, if you join the team, you get a commercial license. I mean, to to appreciate PHP Storm, mm -hmm. one has to use NetBeans and Eclipse mm -hmm. and see the difference, and then you go to yes. Zend. You can test Zend and see yeah. that Zend is also. <laughs> and uh, PHP designer and whatever, and once you come to this, it's like, oh my god, uh, yeah. I I used it for a long time, uh, Zen Studio. <laughs> so um, I, I, I bought it, I think, five years ago. It, it was not so easy to integrate the debugger, and essentially, it was, all, it was totally easy, it worked. So and I spent this 300, 300 euros and, and, and had the debugger running. Um, so that was the reason I I bought essentially. So, but now it's it's totally easy to integrate debuggers. In, in PHP Storm, it's 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 
just a click. Yes. It's the, the Normally. The, yeah. the, the hardest thing is to configure its debug in, in, in your map or, or exam or whatever. Yeah. <coughs> just just uh, one, one more thing here. Uh, this is quite helpful if you're new with Joomla or getting familiar with new versions of Joomla. Uh, this, this is the code completion uh, thing for uh, where you have uh, uh, the whole framework. Um, you, you can see this variable, this dot, is uh, the document object of Joomla, and you see all the all the functions, all the uh, <coughs> all the code completion uh, things uh, you you have in in this, and uh, you can uh, also uh, with, with just with just uh, one. Some of my notes are not working anymore. Uh, you can you can have uh, this. Uh, you get, can get information about about, about uh, the, uh, uh, the navigation. Huh? Navigation. No, I wanted. I never I never use the 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 menu. Uh, I use the uh, shortcuts, but somehow. Okay. Normally, uh, you uh, you can, you can have uh, the the uh, function description, all, all the parameters, uh, and so on that, that are that are used uh, for for the for the functions. So it helps you a lot uh, when you when you want to get familiar with uh, with. Joomla or, or other extensions. Also, when, when you when you have to work with other extensions, you don't know. Uh, just put it in your, in your project, and it helps you to to, to work uh, or, or to write plugins or whatever for, for these extensions. Uh, I I had the job to uh, get familiar with Joom Social some time ago. That was uh, a bit hard, uh, but uh, an IDE helps a lot with that. Uh, yes, I think we go deeper into the, the IDE stuff and debugging and so on a bit later. We want to just go to the to yeah. this stuff. So. Okay, that was. <coughs> yeah, for me it always makes sense. For Robert, it only makes sense when he wants to debug. <laughs> yeah. But I think we, we said all this yeah. stuff there. So maybe a little bit more about Sublime Text. It's, it's you have a lot of packages to integrate it, and, and it's, it's, it's uh, extremely fast. And uh, does anybody uh, anybody know Sublime? Just okay. from the from the name and the little white black background. Okay. So you can change it. you can I change know. everything in Sublime, and uh, it's a, it's a, for me it's my, my standard uh, editor when when it when I when I click on a PHP file, uh, it's 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 my my standard editor, but uh, for, for quick, quick and dirty <laughs> editing, but uh, yes, for for longer development, uh, I think this. So then, this is uh, Sublime. I have also very helpful things. Robert can say more about Sublime. The most the neat thing, I think, is, is, is this on, on the right hand side, this, this uh, file overview. That's really nice when you, when you work with unknown files or so. Okay. So, think about. <coughs> yeah, that's what Robert is using and what I normally use. Yeah. Well, I use all the secret code, so. Okay. <laughs> what, is, what is Delta Walker? Uh, Delta Walker is a diff tool. A very, ah, okay. very, very uh, powerful diff tool. But, okay, for this one. Just for one second. Okay. Yeah, there, there are lots of other tools, small tools, when, when, you, when you just see, see here, down here. This is another, another diff tool, Merge Compare, which, which allows uh, to to zip the differences between the two, two trees and, and just click on zip and you have a, have a package with all the differences, which is very nice. 
And uh, yeah, there's a JSON editor, which is also, also really cool. Coda, okay. Yeah, sure. <coughs> <laughs> okay, has, has someone seen? Is it, there was there was a picture in in um um it was it was at the Pope was was there, so and and, and it was uh, Johannes Paul II. The there was only people there, and and the new one there were always. All people with, with, with uh, smartphones making pictures. So that's that's a new way. Okay. Good. Good. Developers are lazy. <laughs> that's the, no. sen that's the, 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 the sen uh, sentence of this session. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, code formatting and code sniffer. Uh, I just named code sniffer. Uh, code sniffer is, 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 is a tool which, which can pass your code and uh, can detect uh, the style of your code. Maybe if, if your curly brackets are on the same line as the if clause or the next line, and all these small stuff, uh, I, I once I, I look into the, <laughs> in, in the into the files where you describe it, uh, I, it, it it's, it's very strange, but it works and uh, it can be integrated in in your IDE and uh, and helps a lot. PHP Storm has a code sniffer. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, you just, you the just code sniffer is not in PHP Storm. It can be yeah. integrated into it. You have to install code sniffer, and you have to say PHP Storm where it is. And then, uh, or maybe you install something else. No, it's or not just PHP Storm. Click on code sniffer step. I never installed an extra code after that. Yeah, yeah. That's you just need the styles. You need to download the different the text of the code sniffer. You download it, and then it can format it. But when it's magically works for you, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Do you feed up with the document? Yeah, there's an example on the, on, the, on the next page. So um, it's a, it's an older screenshot, you see. Um, is anybody here using this documentation actually? Not me. How did you create that one? If I ask Robert. That's a screenshot from the new method. I, I, um, I have integrated. I thought you created that from PSP. No. I don't know. No, it creates from some documentation that. I, to be honest, I, I never never use it. The only the only way uh, the only reason why I uh, write correct doc comments is uh, for the for the for completion. So that uh, it's. Uh, uh, but there's also a nice tool which I think uh, uh, uses this. Um, I don't know if anybody knows this. Uh, oops. Okay. I think it's in front. But does anyone know Dash? Dash is a tool which which uh, has a lot of documentations uh, in it, and uh, there there are far more. I, these are the ones I I I've, uh, imported: jQuery, HTML, CSS, Joomla, JavaScript, MySQL, PHP, and so on. <coughs> and uh, it's it's just type and, and you, have, you have all the, the and uh, yes. and and there's uh, also also a, a snippet manager uh, integrated and yeah I think it's 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 a nice nice little tool but it's only for Mac. Uh, <laughs> it's called Dash. But Dash D A S H. But how do you how do you get this Joomla? In it, you have. Uh, just a second, when you go to, to the. Uh, the hierarchy, hierarchy, the, view, the hierarchy, are those boxes visible? 
which fault is? Just a second, yes. Um, uh, I don't know it's for uh, there, there are all the, the, the available, uh, the, uh, a lot of a lot of different uh, languages and and. Uh, they have Joomla. Yes. Oh. Wow. And Ooh. every time you start up, uh, it checks if there is a new version and imports it, and it's very very nice. It's uh, free yeah. with a with a. Uh, with some uh, information screens, <laughs> yeah, it's it's not very often. From time to time, you, you ask if you, if you want to buy the, the full version. And how much? Uh, I think it's eight euros or so. A year or for forever? Oh, for forever. Oh, okay. And that's not so much. Two years. Yeah, and 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 it helps. And uh, if you. Use uh, I don't know if uh, okay it's a bit Mac centric now here. Uh, if you use uh, Alfred for example, you can uh, so, and, and it's also integrated in, in Alfred. Uh, you don't have to start dash. You can search in Alfred and then oh, it's there. And where well, well, which boxes do you, do you need? Those boxes like uh, G document and G document. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. when they are when they are produced. It's the PNG images. Okay. Okay. That's, yeah, but here everything what, what could be linked is a link. And that's an HTML uh, produce HTML code. No, it, it, <laughs> this one doesn't produce anything. It, it just imports and uses oh. this dev tool. It, it doesn't produce. It, it just it's just helpful. Uh, yeah, to to have to have all these documentation things in, in one place and you can search it and you can HTML but this one Yes, just for, for searching for for viewing yeah, for <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's but just showing what, what, what tools are available, what 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 mm -hmm. we're using, and uh, yeah, uh, build tools. Yeah, for PHP, uh, Ping is <coughs> not yeah, it's standard. Yes, it's it's most of most of the PHP developers I think uh, use Ping. Who's using Ping? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, one of the most important things uh, for Thing is uh, that it's extendable to PHP code. So you can write your own functions uh, if you need something, especially for Joomla, some uh, things uh, that are very individual for Joomla, you can just create your own own function. <coughs> so that's some Thing code. Not yes, that's, that's all for, for this part. Yeah. So that, that's not code you use to build. Uh, uh, um, thing that's that's code to extend thing. So that's uh, I did this for 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 getting the version number from uh, out from an XML file. So and, and in Holland I learned that there is a function in in thing to do this. <laughs> so uh, the, that's that's um, the only bad thing about thing is the documentation. But maybe the documentation is good, but I don't understand how it's. Manage and, and it's ordered, so it's it's crazy. So I don't find anything. And yeah, it's for me the same. I jump from 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 place to place and and yeah, use from it. Okay. And the examples are on, on the things that I've got really helpful. Yeah. So, but maybe, maybe Robert just wanted to use a regex a regular expression <laughs> because <laughs> he he likes a happy regular expression <laughs> like this. Yeah. Okay. Essentially, I copied this from somewhere, so I don't like very questions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, that's really out <laughs> that, um, well, um, maybe I, I, maybe we can come to this later. Okay. So, uh, that, that only takes up. Yeah, that, that's that's a thing script to, to build something. Yeah. And that's a thing script to build some more. Package <laughs> Oh. Okay, that's it. <laughs> okay, good. 
Um, so we, we can go more in, into a PHP storm, um, or just have um, our, our other people here have to share something, how they do development, or have a good idea, or mm. questions. I, I don't know if this is someone interested in it, and I did not got, got it running on a, on a Mac yet. I used it on a uh, version of uh, uh, on my Windows machine, and it was a Nifty application called Fire App. It uses Compass and Zest to, to create on the fly and style sheet files being comp compressed or documented, however you want to have it. Mm -hmm. And uh, with this um, live reload.js, you can also link it up. Uh, and you can buy toolkit. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. What? Uh, what is the most interesting now? I bought this patch. Huh? I didn't know dash. The profile is is is, uh, is a bit. Okay, we can we can go to the profile. <laughs> um. Yeah. Anyway, everybody knows what the profiler is. No. So. Um, normally, uh, you, you have different tools to, to check uh, the code when it's running, like debugger, uh, profiler. Uh, debugger is more to find errors, and, uh, uh, and the profiler is to see the, how, how the code is executed, to, to find uh, um, places in the code with, where, where the code is slow or, or, or uh, where uh, functions are, uh, how functions are executed. Just a second. Uh, let's, let's see if I have. Uh, um, I'll just uh, see if, if I've got. got a, uh, Profile ready here. Um, yeah, okay, let's see if, if, it, if it works with the project. <laughs> so, this is a, uh, a result of a post profiling session. You start, you, you load a page, and, and uh, you, you start a profiling session, and then you load the page, and the profiler records everything uh, uh, PHP does during the page load. And uh, you can see here all the all the files that were were used and loaded uh, and executed during during uh, uh, one page load. Um, this is sometimes very very uh, yeah <laughs> um, heavy or, or, or you wonder why uh, what files are, are loaded there. And the, the good thing is you can now sort. Uh, what uh, uh, by by the time by the calls, uh, how, how much time is used uh, to 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 execute these files, and um, or, or this 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 uh, this functions. And when we are lucky now, then we have the uh, yes the tree where where uh, how how it is called. So you can really go. Uh, deep into the code and see how 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 uh, it is it is um, it is called it is uh, executed to optimize uh, things. When you when you uh, have, for example, a, a, a slow page load when 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 you activate a module. A good example from from this side is is the <coughs> shop category module. It was so slow uh, and and uh, I just. Didn't want, want to look the, the code uh, through the code manual. Manually, I just fired up the, the, the profiler and checked uh, what is what is going on there. And I found out that that for every category and every product, uh, there, there there was a check, which was not needed for me because I just wanted the category headlines. So I just uh, could optimize it in, uh, by by uh, adding an if clause if if this function is uh, should be should be called. And so uh, it's it's much. Uh, much faster then, and uh, yeah, it's a bit difficult now to, to explain the, the profiler without a, 
a special example. Um, Uh, <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Uh, you have somewhere where you can specify the, some filters. Yes. You can go through the execution stack and find the yes. component, and from then on it's yeah, the dash main inside your component. Um, yes, exactly. Because I, I just I just thought about it because I. I never uh, thought this this way because uh, it, it's always interacting. Uh, when when you use uh, the uh, uh, when 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 it comes to the menu, the, the, uh, the router is, is 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 used from from your component, and uh, there there are so much things that that are uh, get uh, that go to go together. Um, but uh, yes, when when you when you're going through the uh, the uh, execution tree. The problem is I, I, I don't even know what, what I was uh, when when I uh, called this profiler. What what maybe I should should when 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 Robert is is telling something, I, I would I would create a new profile and then we see what what uh, what happens. But um, yes, as I said, it's it's. Uh, uh, really, really helpful, and and the good thing is uh, that it's integrated into the IDE, so that you you can you can directly uh, go to the to the code. You can always always uh, go deeper and deeper and deeper, so uh, that that you just uh, go to the to the to the position where 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 the where the time is consumed and and. Uh, uh, Problem or the, the optimization can be done. So, yes, I will, I will create an example. But uh, this is also a, a combination of IDE, PHP Storm maybe, uh, and Xdebug. Xdebug uh, does does the profiling, and uh, the the configuration or the, uh, the 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 Xdebug configuration is done in the PHP ini file. And this is where I see the, the forum questions, mostly the, the, the problem to, to, to configure XDebug correctly, but uh, yes, that's uh, on the PHP side then. Yeah, but you, when, you, when, you are, when you have a Mac and you are um, installing single on your Mac with all dependencies, uh, XDebug is included and PHP Documenter and, and Postnipper, and all these tools are integrated. They are all all then on your on your machine, so that's easy. The easy way is to install a thing with all dependencies and then let it run for ten minutes and then it's yeah. in all, all then I have a tip: uh, install send local number on hard disk. Otherwise, it's not easy to install things. You know, they they have used all on Windows. They won't just see. <coughs> oh, okay, yeah. I'm I'm using it for for the for the um, installed PHP on my. On my I had really a hard time with that sample on the B hard disk, not with the system. And suddenly the thing installed script doesn't work, you have to change here and there because you just install it in C directly, then it's really easy. Okay, um, one question about so I think that's what we have that is what we have prepared for the session ones. Um, so oh, okay. You share your experience for um, the change of my mind, right? so the, 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 the life cycle of the code and delivery in the different situation. Okay. That's a good question. Um, I think I know someone who can really share good insights about this. Would you, would you tell something about this? But life cycle from, from the code with your big components? Yeah, I think that's the question. This largely depends on 
what is the life cycle management of June lion since this is a very good question, a very good question. Uh, I would say that the life cycle management of your component is pretty much rolling the dice and guessing what Joomla is going to do to try to force it, for example. Uh, I knew that at some point Joomla 1.5 would go away. When? No idea. The date kept changing. So what was my plan for duplicating Joomla uh, 1.5 support? It was a roll of the dice. I was like, I duplicated Joomla 1.5 support just one month before Joomla 1.5 went to 1.5. That was pure luck. So you are using a different level of staging and test stage, uh, uh, mini test stage, uh, the production stage. Don't uh, say the you word. <laughs> uh, I always have an alpha which nobody installs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. Exactly. Uh, usually it's full of bugs. So hopefully people <coughs> will report the bugs that I didn't run uh, uh, during my testing. Uh, then there is a beta which is supposed to be installed by most people on production websites. So they start reporting bugs, and I rush to fix them. Uh, normally, they would, there would be a release candidate, but because people tend to install the details on live sites and on the testing sites, uh, I get to release directly uh, a stable version. So in an ideal world, there would be an alpha, a beta, a release candidate, and a stable. In the real world, it would be like that. The question was maybe a bit more how you have managed your uh, installation <coughs> on your computer. Oh, to, yeah, get branches. Get branches. You can use so from our old school, so <laughs> <laughs> I don't uh, know if, new tools. Yeah, if you use Git Flow, it can actually yeah. 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 yeah, it flows. Yeah, flow three weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, uh, simple. Sure. Yeah, but for, for most developers, this doesn't apply. So my biggest uh, dependency is actually Joomla, because it's not under my control. There is no strict plan. Thing is, I mean, nobody's control, but <laughs> well, it, it's self-driving. Yeah. It's like a self-driving car. You don't know what's where it's going, what's doing. Yeah. yeah.
But this is Git, git flow. Uh, uh, there are a lot of documentation about this concept, and uh, it's, it's really, it's really cool. To, and it's easy to use and it's integrated in Git, so it's also great. Mm -hmm. you, you are, you can share something there? What? What's that, bro? This is what the fight with that I just uh, checked if, if, if the debugger and the, the profiler is working. I just want to share a thing that yeah. would be crazy. If you used to symlink your uh, your repository with your uh, working uh, site, you're going to have some problems. Uh, this, this is what happened to me. Uh, I'm using Eclipse with X debugger, or rather, I get touch with its debug and uh, its developer and its intermediates. Since uh, the file is since linked, when you uh, place a breakpoint in, inside your Eclipse uh, uh, version, or the editor, um, practically its debug can uh, get in touch with this uh, breakpoint. So it doesn't stop. There is a solution. Yeah. We're using you have to create a different project. project. No, you, you for the entire uh, test site no. that you have simply, yeah. then it works. Yeah, but you can have a Yeah, but there is a simulation. Or whether the fastest solution is to create, uh, instead of putting a uh, red point, simply uh, write uh, x debug rep, call uh, the function x debug rep. It, it, it will stop. So, uh, this is oh, okay. what's happening in the same thing in Yeah, uh, but that's exactly yeah, yeah, they have to always point to the real file. Sorry? And I think you always have to point the debugger to the real file, to the symbol. Otherwise, it's the same issue. Yeah, I know. Then, you have to call it the. I have to call it the one that leads to the repository and the one that leads to the right side. When you, land, when you want to start a debugger, you have to uh, start with a flat side, mm -hmm. since we are using a flat side. If you uh, simply place a red point inside, mm -hmm. inside mm -hmm. you can see inside your flat side project your file. You put a black point here and it doesn't stop. Mm -hmm. You say, ah, okay, I have to put a black point in the other project that there is only the repository. But when you start the debugger, since you're debugging the right side, it doesn't see that because you put on the other yeah. So there is, a, you simply uh, the call the X debug rack the function and you're fine. So I've just uh, called the uh, debugger just a second. Um, it's, it's very small, I think, probably. Uh, here in this uh, project tree, you can see these are. Uh, the whole Joomla uh, stuff is, is symlinked here too. And I just uh, opened the database.pt because uh, this is called really everywhere. <laughs> it's always called. And I've added a, a, a breakpoint here in the, in, in the, in the database.pt from, uh, from the symlinked uh, Joomla. And when I now load the page, then it stops there. So uh, probably it's a problem with the clips because okay. I, yeah. I saw that there is a version change <coughs> on the clips. I mean, the previous version didn't have this one. Mm. Uh, I have the clips because of the web code and then it happened. So, uh, I don't know. Well, well, the the problem is not local change, it's just yeah. a clip and it's simply in the hub. I know. You can play two different kinds of things. So the Windows boss nodes are supporting the, the Simlix like in Windows up to the Windows 7, I think. They, um, so before we had those new Simlix. Windows, Windows 7 is using a real Simlix. Hmm? It's using a real Simlix. It's using a direct return change. That's a different thing. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
But I saw on the PHP Storm forum just a week ago that somebody else had a problem with simulating uh, files for debugging a tool. But no, it was not PHP, it was, it was, it was in Joomla development. Google Docs, uh, Google Docs, uh, uh, Google Groups. <coughs> okay, uh, yes. And uh, shall we go a bit to the debugger? Maybe? How to use it? Or? The problem in that main list was that you uh, used Joomla by adding it to the libraries in uh, uh, PHP Storm. Yes, then that's the breakpoint can come to you. No, it's not like right. yeah. mm -hmm. When you are in the library. Yeah. 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 Um, I've got a PHP 1.5 uh, where, where I normally use that. Uh, this, uh, yes. yeah, it's not the problem at the moment, but uh, <coughs> yes. Uh, we just okay. I've now uh, set a breakpoint here in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a file, and now we can uh, go through uh, through the, the file. There are these different uh, buttons here where, where, where you can say. Uh, step uh, uh, step to, to the next line. Step uh, into. Step over. Or step, step step out. Where where you can decide if you if you jump into the functions or, or just just uh, step uh, to where, where you now can jump through the through the code uh, as it as it is executed, and it, it goes deep into 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 Joomla code. What what you normally don't need to, uh, so you can just uh, step back uh, to the. Um, uh, no. uh, <laughs> find my way back to to where. Uh, Wait, wait, wait. Hmm? The button after the debug, you need to press where you are Yeah, that's that's what I press all the time. I I don't know it's it's strange. Normally when you when you also go to the to the file and Place the cursor somewhere. Uh, then you can also say step to the next line in, the, in this file. But I don't know. <coughs> so, no, no, we're back here. And uh, we see here all the all the variables and uh, and uh, objects that that are defined at, at this at this moment, and we can also uh, change them to to. Uh, ah, now I know because I had this breakpoint in the database. Yeah. Uh, yet I, I, I just wonder why, why I'm not there where I expect it to be. Uh, yeah, that's a Juma file. <laughs> uh, so I expect it to be here all the time. Um, oops. But no, I'm, I'm not yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah.
I can, I can get rid of this great point. Uh, we need all one. We need all great points. One. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can, you can be all great points and then set the one you would like. Uh, two. Two great points? You can keep them all. I have to explain you PHP store. Yes, I did. <laughs> uh, but, I'm, but I'm using often the debugger, so that's, that's the only part I know from PHP yeah, store. <laughs> but this is not. Yeah, I want to see if it is if it runs to the other foot. Uh, tell something else. Uh, uh, you like the record, so. Yeah, but I said it. No. Okay. okay. All right. <coughs> Yes. Now, now we have all the all the the stuff in the in, in the in the file. Uh, a lot of a lot of variables that are set, and uh, where we can see exactly what's 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 going on. And now, when we when we jump uh, uh, jump over uh, in, into the into the or, or go go to the code, uh, we can we can see. How the how the code is executed, we can see in which if clause he jumps. Uh, so if he jumps into this condition, it's obvious that that he has some products. And now we can go to the to the whole code, see what what uh, what's going on, and and watch when when there is uh, an error somewhere, when when there is an if clause not not uh, not executed, uh, what. Uh, what what the reason could be? <coughs> so and then uh, when when we when we uh, found found what we what we uh, what we were searching for, we can uh, we can hover the uh, the variables here, and, and it shows exactly uh, the the state of the variable at the moment in in this in the in, in this execution. <coughs> Is it possible to change on the flies and have variables uh, ready? Yes, you can here set set the value and write something completely different. And this is now the the, the value. Uh, the continue button is not the it's uh say here by now. And when I continue this, <coughs> then the <coughs> this button says by now uh, what before was something different. So what you change in the in the debugger has effect on on the on the page as you as you load it. Then, <coughs> so you can you can also change what what makes more sense uh, 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 when when you when you don't know. Uh, um, why, why, why uh, a condition is not executed? You can set it explicitly by uh, to true, so so you, that you can go to the to the to the code then. <coughs> so, uh, this is even more helpful uh, when 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 you jump into functions so that you get, you can go to the whole execution tree 
uh, and and see uh, may, maybe the, the error is not in the code you have written. Maybe you have just ex expected a different answer from a from a function you called somewhere. So then you then you can can see uh, what uh, what what's going on. But and uh, yeah, that's uh, very 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 helpful. I uh, yeah, and 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 then it's very good integrated into the, into into the, the IDE helps a lot. So you still have all the uh, the options you can. You can start typing at any time <coughs> to see uh, yeah, what you can do there, and uh, yeah, find find your find your bugs, your errors, or just see what what the code is doing under different conditions. Um, one thing maybe um, has someone a problem and. That he needs to be solved. Um, so maybe we can share this here. Maybe someone has solved the problem somewhere. So that we actually for you it's not a problem, but I mean the first time I did it on Windows, I had very much hustled with this um, I did um, coding style for mm -hmm. for for Joomla for PHP to to get it actually working. Yeah, uh, it was very hard for me, and now I have to do it again on the Mac. So uh, I hope uh, it was one of what, the things. What, what are you use. using as editor? P uh, PHP Storm. Yeah. You see, you see, uh, you forced me to buy this uh, about uh, one and a half weeks ago. You know how you bashed me in the Skype chat? Yes. Yeah, you asked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. So, <laughs> Yes, I have to code format. We had a small problem to just find out. We use want to use the same code format, of course, in virtual mat. And we ran just recently we also did the uh, PHP storm for virtual mat people. And just went out. I gave her my settings and she got now the Windows keys. It's not interchangeable yeah. between Windows and Mac. But we will ask them, we have them in Skype. It's just the keys when you have control V, control C when you are in my situation. It's just a. Just another nice thing, uh, just because I. I don't want to forget this. Uh, I just saw it here at the bottom. I don't know. Does anybody know CSS X file? No. That's a really, really cool uh, thing. Um, it's a plugin for for PHP Storm. And uh, when you when you have Firebug installed, uh, you can maybe I think you all know Firebug. You can uh, select all these uh, elements on your on your website, and okay, you say, I, I just want this not one one pixel. I want this one hundred pixel. It's completely fit, but uh, I don't know where where to show now. But okay, it's I I've, I've changed this, and uh, now when I go to CSS uh, X file, he knows what I what I've changed. The problem is that, that oh, in Joomla uh, that's in, nice. That's usually you have plugins yeah. with Chrome? Hmm? The Chrome. same plugin with Chrome? Uh, in Chrome it, it yeah, also works uh, with with uh how it's called Firebug Lite called in Chrome. Oh. Uh, a bit uh, you, you have you have to, to have uh, uh, a different uh, a special order. You have to start Firebug Chrome then uh, and then uh, but, but it also works then in in Firefox or in Firebug in, in Firefox it's it's always there and it always works. You the only the, the only the only problem is uh, that uh, in Joomla most templates have have uh, or similar names for for the style sheet files, so you have to check a bit uh, where where it belongs because he shows on on different uh, different places. But he's 
uh, it shows you all the all the, the places where, where where you could change this, and here you see the change I've made, and you can just uh, apply this change, or when you are sure that, that everything is okay, you can uh, apply apply all changes. Uh, then then you have all, have changed all the stuff you've you've done in the in, in Firebug, and that's really 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 helpful. Uh, for me, as a non-designer, uh, who has what Chiara this morning told, uh, has to work with, with the stuff uh, to, to make everything look like the designer wants it, it's very helpful to do this in Firebug and know that the changes you're doing are recorded in, 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 uh, in KHP Storm, so you can uh, just apply them. And that's, that's very, very helpful. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's one of the really cool features in, in, in uh, PHP Storm. Um, if, 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 you, um, if you link to, to, to Jamla, um, I try, I try to uh, set now an external library. Uh, to, to which folders do you all link? Or just to the whole project? Uh, just a second, I can so normally I would just link to, to, to um, Libraries. I just uh, open this project. Okay. So this is a site uh, which is uh, still running uh, in PHP. Uh, Juno 1.5 and Juno 1.5. And uh, when I go uh, to the okay, I'll set this here. What was the question? Oh. It was about. Um, in the external libraries. Yeah, I know. Uh, but, 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 uh, I don't do this with with Juno one two point five anymore. Do yeah, you know, I'm, 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 I'm not. I do. I'm, at the moment, I just try to do it for three. So, um, so which folders do you select? Or uh, normally uh, include the libraries. Oh, the thanks. So, 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 okay, that's, that's, that should be enough. I don't don't have to include the. The, the component stuff, uh, the core components, they are not very useful uh, for, for completion. Also, libraries and includes is, is everything I need. But uh, with the. Uh, it doesn't work to have them. Uh, just simply the one to look out for the external uh, libraries. Yeah. And then yeah. You can always look how they did that and look at that plugin, what they used there. Uh. What I do, I, 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 um, project is a, is a route from the from the Joomla installation. And what you what you can do is then you uh, can some fab favorites there. Uh, yes, you have favorites. Favorites, so and then you can you will, will not have all the directories, and you can put some some of them uh, into this and, and go go uh, go. With this. Well, a really great thing when you when it goes to I, I don't use these favorites very often. Uh, I like. I really like the scope. Oh, okay. Does anyone know the scope? No. This is a really cool feature. Uh, you can describe or, or tell PHP Storm what what to show. And for me, it's very easy. Uh, all our uh, components, our plugins, and whatever start with VMX. So it's it's very easy. Uh, that um, everything with what, what that starts with VMX, okay, and, and here now with, with this component uh, uh, is, is shown. So everything else is, is not shown in, in, the, in the components tree. So I have a very clean uh, project tree uh, with only the stuff I'm working on. So why, why did you I just want to that? And uh, you can have. Uh, oops. But I added the library. In the library. So, and this, this is, this is uh, for exactly that what 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 we we've seen. 
this is the description. Uh, so that this means uh, I want to see all files that start with VMX and in all, all <coughs> files in the subdirectory. So uh, maybe in, in the subdirectory I've got a file that's just called helper. I want to see it also. But when there is somewhere in the tree VMX, then show everything below. And exactly the same uh, when it starts underscore mijo, uh, which is the component we've used here now. And uh, anything else? Yeah. Which uh, And yeah, using nano with the template that's used here. Uh, so I've got all the things I use in this in this project in my in my scope. So when I activate the scope, um, I'm I, I have a very clean directory tree where everything I need is. Uh, is shown and everything else is is, is uh, <coughs> and that's that's what what I what I use very often because uh, you know Joomla there are a lot of a lot of directories and so on and uh, so I I only see what what I really need and uh, I don't know why why this keyboard shortcut is not working uh, because normally. Uh, I don't even use this this directory tree because uh, they, you have, you have uh, keyboard shortcuts to to just type and open the file you want, and uh, I don't know. It doesn't work anymore. My most important keyboard shortcut. Okay, uh, but like like in, in other uh, modern editors, Sublime has has something similar too. Uh, you can uh, you can just type uh, this, this one. You can just type and and uh, uh, it it shows you what what uh, what matches. This is just this is not the file uh, list. It, it's just a function list where you can where you can just if you search a function, you just start to type and and it shows all the functions in in uh, in PHP Storm. And uh, so you can you can read, for example, in where now like this, uh, and uh, say convert to tabs. Then all the spaces at the beginnings of the of the lines are are, uh, are converted to tabs. This is, uh, for example, um, you can call it directly from from this. Uh, from this uh, list of, of features. <coughs> How I can delete a project? Delete the directory. It's, it's, it's still there in the overview. Where is it? It's still in the, there's an the overview uh, screen when you start it. Is it? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. I looked for deleting and, and it's. Um, in, in PHP Storm, it is uh, when you go to the to the to the uh, directory. Uh, there, there are uh, hidden, is, is a hidden folder, uh, which is one idea, which is the, the uh, um, name of, of the, and, and all the all the stuff you. Uh, Saved in, in PHP Storm for this project is is, uh, is stored there. Uh, when you delete this folder, the, you have a completely new project because uh, all, all the settings for for this uh, uh, project is uh, is gone then. <coughs> and as you can see here, this is uh, when I have larger projects. This is my normal directory <coughs> structure for 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 a project. Uh, I have. Um, a, a top folder which is called you know, phase three, uh, and here are some some uh, things I, I usually need for for this project. These are uh, thing package files. These are the, the hidden Git stuff and so on. And here are logs from the from the uh, from the LAM. And here here uh, the the real project starts, and all the, all the source files starts. Uh, so I have one more level where I can store different things uh, in, for, for the project. So I'm just 
uh, this is how I, I uh, have my projects in, in PHP Storm organized. And I open as a project directory this, this directory so that uh, everything is uh, in, the, in the project. <coughs> more questions, more ideas, or um, sure. Yes, uh, so, 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 uh, no. If I wanted to have the uh, um, correct formatting for Java, for PHP, uh, where do I actually set it? It's, it's in the editors? Um, I think it's... I think I know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have code style PHP. And this is this is just the the, the code style go, for the end. Go, go, go to mm -hmm. Where is it? No, no I code style JS. Okay. Mm -hmm. Descriptions. So there's uh, where you where you have to uh, tell PHP Storm where where code sniffer is. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. And where? And then when you what's the class? And you have it? Uh, no, 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 not not very big. Well, think about inspection. No, links, 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 links. That's the more interesting part. Uh, yeah, this left. Okay. Activate and left. Ah, no. No, no, just look. Click on this. 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 Click on Yeah. I think the first time that I tried to download it, it just took me hours just to find the right file. I mean, I'm coding standards, Joomla, GitHub. But also in the wiki. Yeah, this is the issue is depending on when you have uh, the command line code center, you have to do like a git shoot that's a path. Yeah. So I am. Uh, I am. Um, so. Uh, that's the wrong directory. Yeah, it's a first. But it's, it's the wrong repository. They have a new repository. Right, but it's, it's, it's linked here. But yeah, <laughs> so it's not. And at the moment it's I got. Hmm. It's. Uh, it's not sliding more than the other one. I think it's Jumbo Sandwich. Oh, okay. Slash Jumbo Sandwich. Go to Jumbo. Yeah. Go to Jumbo and there are lovely sub projects. It's uh, just. Coding style. Yeah, that's the one. If you scroll down the page, all the way down to the uh, right there, the uh, yeah, install the new standard yeah. as well. If you run that, it works perfect. Okay. Yeah. But, but you need to do this. Hmm? You need to do this because it's it's a peer installation and, and it's, it's copy the file in the directory on the Mac, so you have to do this. It's You know Zudu, the command for, for being for my for being, being a super user. Being a super user. Oh, Zudu, I didn't do that. Well, that cannot work. Or at least it should not work. Oh, you know, I might not. But I already had it in there. Yeah, okay. So I probably just didn't have it. Good. Then the kit. Then the kit. Then the kit. Es gibt ja nicht mehr, wenn du siehst den Zip runter oder du machst das mit dem Zip-Command. Das ist ein Zip-Command, musst du auch mit einem Kernel ausführen, wenn du, wenn du Git installiert hast. Hast du Git? Ja. 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 Ja
So, okay, die habe ich jetzt runtergeladen und... Okay, so we fix it. Fix the documentation bug. Ja. Ja. Well done. Yeah, it's good. Good. So, basically we are... We've done something useful this morning. Okay. Let's have a beat. <laughs> okay. So, it's, when there is nothing more, then you can close this. And it's going slightly off topic. Um, we talked about um, docs earlier. Uh, well, we talked about the um, structure um, using what is it again? Um, Dash. Um, and kind of, so I know you looked at the API version and you said, oh, that's crap, basically. <laughs> Which it is, in fact. Um, how people like to see it because it is on the list of the docs to up. So, you know, yeah, but I know it's for the primary or I don't think the wiki is pretty much set apart from. So the wiki is going to pretty much stay as it is for namespacing articles and versioning articles. So it's much easier to say the Junior Walk on Five stuff is being phased out really quickly. I mean, that's why there are so many edits in the wiki that you probably saw in the first session. And they put that graph up as when you then stuff into a namespace version, mm -hmm. which is archived and given away from the Gina box mm -hmm. and so forth. Um, and we're also creating 2.5 and 3.x mm -hmm. namespaces so that when the time comes, mm -hmm. I then can keep the box, put a big, this is archived notice, don't edit it, don't change it, this is outdated. So think about this, you mentioned Tom is a Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my thinking is, if you did something with GitHub, you wouldn't need this place. right? Easier adoption. You'd have more people because it's easier. If you need an expert to do something as simple as writing how to do something, then I don't know if that's the easiest way to do it. I don't think any of like I think you need an expert because mm -hmm. all the stuff is so unified. Yeah, so to get us out of the hole. Um, Max, it's an article, an article, and stuff like that. It's so mm -hmm. simple. I do like it. That's why I'm sure. <laughs> that is why I'm doing it. It is that simple.